So, um, like I said, we've known each other for how many years now? We've known each other for since we were a wee. Known each other. I've known you for obviously since I, since we were a wee. Tw- I'd say we both known each other for twenty seven years. Twenty seven years. So obviously you're tw- you're twenty eight. Exactly. But you obviously didn't know me the first year you were born. Well, mm. no, technically you didn't know me for the in it for the first four years. You were yeah. all, you were obviously five. Or we six, met, or you we, were five or six when you met me. Yeah, but we we met in like primary school. Met in primary school. Um, I don't even know. Did we did we meet the first year? Uh, uh, primary one. I, I think we met in primary one. Like but towards the end of primary one. I think, it was, I think it was the, the end. And I gave you a fire engine. <laughs> toy fire engine. You had a toy mm-hmm. fire engine. I gave you that. And you had this toy Garfield and you gave me that. That's right, I had the French Garfield. And to this day I've still got that. With the wee baguette. With the wee baguette. And I've still got that to this day. Yep. And I can dig that out because it's up in the old, out old house. And I can get that and I'll show you that, that one day. But then it became sort of thing like we went into primary school together and we did obviously the play which was yeah. like a high sc- a primary school play that was, was done for school. back in 1995. We made that. Didn't play which was brilliant. And then yeah. I went away and lived away for a while mm-hmm. near Cumbernauld all the way, stayed with my dad and stuff like that. So I, I lived away at that. And it's always, I, always I always wanted to kind of do things with TV I, I lost contact with you and you, bought, you obviously went away and then you wanted to do things with TV and TV, movies, um, movies and whatnot. All sorts of things like that. And all of a sudden, um, we got back together for a couple, hung about for a few years, said, Can I get something together, maybe do. Because obviously, cause obviously, like your mum took took you off, your dad and stuff, and it. Yeah. It really broke him to pieces. My, my childhood was quite rough, but you know, I got through it at the end. Yeah. You know? Can I see me, me and my dad tried to take me off my mum, but like my mum stood stood firm, so I had the opposite effect, whereas your dad couldn't do anything, so she took... Yeah, we had a... Had quite, so it was quite, 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 quite... We got there. But then, like... When we got together again, we said we were going you to You just start. appeared in my doorstep. Exactly. And as I said to you, we got together, we got together, we did Bogus in yeah, 2002. Yeah. 2002, Bogus, Shred Round. Us being, we can say this now, us being very, very childish and very, very um, just... It was good. It was good times because that's what we Very did. childish and very, you know, just out there, you know, something that's like... Something that you would just cram everything in and just do it on the one day, you know. It was just it was one one of the things, you know. It was like Pod came by and goes like, "Let's do this movie and all that and stuff, and let's just do some crazy wacky things, you know. Let's let's put your old stereo on and like singing, do all this and it was something like that. It was yeah, just it was it was it was one of the ones and also, on the moment and also like. It was good because we made it, when we were younger, we were in school, we used to talk about films and talk about music and things like that. And that's what sort of always was about, just our childhood. Aye, and that's aye, aye, it, aye, 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 Bringing it up and bringing it past, and back in the video days, I mean, it was VHS, you don't get that now. Mm-hmm. And it's good to look back and see, his, his brother had a collection of videos, I mean, his brother had lots and lots of films, we... You you probably wouldn't get now in DVD or Blu-ray, so yeah, I think Bogus Two finished. Uh, they finished Bogus. Bogus finished at an era where DVDs were just coming into place. Yep. So I think Bogus Two sort of. Bogus Two kind of. Sort of well, tallied that up. Bogus Two, I feel like we were um, more mature to begin with. But then we became less mature towards the end because we went back to the roots of Bogus One because, like me with the most famous um, knife scene, the two knives, I felt like, you know, I needed to do something in this to, you know, pay homage to Bogus One. 
So I had to kind of go back to the old roots of bogus one and go, you know, I've got to do this. You know, I've got to be, do something stupid and... And we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. The knife scene. We had a lot of fun doing the two films. Especially we did them back to back. Yeah. Year after year. So it was good. Yeah, we had a we lot did. of fun. It's memories. I mean, there has been talk about us trying to get third film off the ground, but I don't know. Ah, there, that is, is. there is ground work talk. Don't know if that will happen. I mean, we could. We, we've not done. We've not. Me and Tom have not done a film project for a while, but I'm looking at getting my. Work pal Patrick involved in becoming uh, helping us get us a, a form off the, the ground. Um, I was looking at a project about nightclubbing in Glasgow with Patrick to see maybe we'd do. But before we even did that, I mean, after Bogus, Tom went, we were both did. Uh, Dad and Cumbernauld. Dad and Cumbernauld, Dan Dan Cumbernauld Dan took Cumbernauld. up a lot of time. I mean, it still does. Dad and Cumbernauld, it, it, um, it was originally planned to just be a film to begin with, because I remember Paul etching it to be a film, but then Paul just thought, no, do you know what? Why don't we just do an episode every time we come up here? We just do one episode after the other, that. after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. A movie did get done. Which was called Dad, Dad in America. And so you never got a chance to to, to be in. I is, never got a chance to be in it. But who knows? Maybe we might do a sequel. But Dad I, in America to but the half of Tom. But I was <laughs> I was homage to um come up with the idea. Well, me and Paul be the idea because when Paul made Dad and Cumber Old, it was originally going to be a film, Dad and Cumber Old, and Paul. It said, you know, branch it out, branch it out, make it longer. Do episodes, you know, make episodes. Why, why do we also have to do films? Let's do episodes because then you can it's store shorter, the episodes you can and split you can. It up. So in a way, me and Paul spoke about what Dad and Cumbernauld being a movie, and then when the actual Dad and Cumbernauld became a movie, Dad in America, then in a way that Dad in America actually pays homage to me and Paul because me and Paul actually come up with the idea of that maybe being a movie one day so it kind of it has us to thank for it being there but we don't take like we don't go yeah we take the credit for that being there it, it was done for when it was done because it's in America and it was like dad income and old stretching over to America we're, 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 so we're looking like, into not yeah but we're hopefully may get a sequel and, and uh, maybe go somewhere else dad in Australia wherever you don't know but I'm you never do no you never do know but but after that you went away on and done noodles with sadly I wasn't in dad went, in America but you went after done that noodles in 2006 with noodles yeah 2006 then you two you got together again and did crazy boys and then we got with together Andrew, Andrew Austin and I had an I had originally scripted Crazy Boys, one, two, and three, and um, I gave it to Paul and Paul thought it was a great idea. You know, thought wow, you've really put a lot of thought in these. You know, it's yeah. really yeah. and um, we brought it to Andrew and he just wasn't for having Andrew just was. wasn't for having doing any other sequels, but so that kind of left us on the you know a blink bar anything that he was doing. But then Noodles 2 came along and he decided he didn't want to be in Noodles 2. That was him. Scrapped for Noodles 2. And then I had to come up with a totally different idea. So then Tom went and done Noodles 2 without. So I went and done Noodles 2. But we've not, we've not worked again for a while. And I mean, as I say, Patrick will hopefully help us get something off the ground. I was looking at, me and Patrick, it was Patrick's idea. But I was looking at maybe looking at nightclub life in Glasgow. And getting a movie done about that. And uh, about kind of documentary kind of style and Tom could help us obviously be the antagonism and that I mean Patrick or Patrick's want to be the thing Patrick's want to be the director so it'll probably be me and Tom again sort of like bogus in a sense but yep. me and Tom starting a film again which would be good but a more realistic one um, about nightclub life in Glasgow and um, so yeah the, we've got a title for it called The King of Queen Street, which actually sounds quite good. Me and Patrick thought about it for a while, so don't know when that's going to come about. But we'll hopefully, maybe hopefully, 
2015. I'm quite excited. Will be a day. Quite excited. It's, um, so, this is, this is all news to him because I've not told him about it. So this is news. He's hearing this just now. Um, it's Patrick told me to spring up on him um, to give him some thought about it. The King of Queen Street is the title that Patrick and I came up with. That the whole idea was about the he he's the king basically of himself. So sort of boozer in Glasgow sort of likes to go nightclubbing, likes to party with his pals and all that for one last fling before, I mean he's in his late 20s which once you get to late 20s you kind of sort of die down for that so you have to kind of need much money and you've got houses to pay so yep. so this is basically what that film's about, these last sort of pals we hear his pals and stuff like that before he kind of quietens down to just saving money and things like that so hopefully we get it done for 2015. Um, that's what Patrick's hoping for, at least. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, it's been now, what, 12, 13? Is it 12? 12 years? 12, 13? Is this 12? 12 years since Bogus 1, 11 years since Bogus 2. I mean, yeah, ten years since uh, Dan, since Tom started, Dan come on old. Dan coming old, ten years. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So hopefully uh, we get something else instead of the same old, same old, and we'll get maybe. Hopefully Patrick's looking at King of Queen Street as a title, um, as a new project. But let's just try to get it off the ground. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and yeah, this is. Uh, Paul Lawson, Tom Law. Tom Law. Signing off. Signing off. Bye.